Do you remember in a previous episode, I said that um, after the frost, I wouldn't be harvesting any herbs outside? Well, <laughs> guess what? Um, yeah, I was wrong. I was totally wrong. We got frost for a few days, but now it is hot. It is hot. It is, it's October 22nd and it is really warm and it has been for a while. We're going to get some cloud cover soon, which is good, but uh, yeah, I mean, stingy nettle. I can't pick enough for this. So I'm taking advantage. We've been saved this year with the weather, I feel, on some of our outdoor crops. Uh, so I'm going to get as much herbs as I can. Can you hear that? That's my neighbor. He's going to be spreading liquid manure again. Nothing I can do about that. I'm still harvesting this. So today what I want to do is harvest this stinging nettle as much as I can. It's all new growing tips too. This is like really good stuff. It also really stings. I've already been stung a bunch. Um, after that there's mullein that we could do and yeah see what else i don't know this is ridiculous this is good this is more money in the winter let's get to it oh ladybugs are everywhere So, this tractor has been sitting unused for at least two months and I'm going to start needing it. Actually, I need it today. Um, we have to harvest some echinacea root and some valerian root and uh, I'm going to need the front loader for that. Also. We have some ginkgo leaves that we're going to get in there at the top of a tree. So I am going to put Jess in the front and kind of lift her up uh, so she can, she can get that. But like I said, it's been sitting for a while and I started it up this morning and there's a few things, which is normal. I mean, this, this tractor is, is already kind of struggling uh, in general, but, um, it's normal that there's a few things after you let it sit for a while. First, there's a lot of smoke coming from under the hood, uh, but I actually think it's just exhaust. I don't think it's coming from under hood. I think there's a small exhaust leak and it's kicking it underneath um, and it just, it's coming out. There's nothing burning. The oil was fine and it doesn't smell bad at all. I just think it's just because it's old. Um, 
diesel just sitting in there. Uh, it's probably just gotta, gotta go through and then it'll go back to normal. Secondly, the front loader is just protesting its very existence. Um, it could barely lift, it's like very shaky, which means we're running uh, low on, um, on hydraulic fluid. So I'm gonna top that up. Um, and it's normal, this one has a slow leak on the hydraulics. Uh, you probably see eventually, or you've seen in other videos, there's just random little dark spots in. Oh, there's the leak right now, watch. <coughs> There's the leak. So, yeah, it's leaking fast now because I, um, I've just been pushing it. Uh, so the, the fluid's nice and warmed up, but it's coming off of the arm or out of the cylinder, dripping down the arm and then dripping here. So it is normal that I am running low on fluid. Um, I gotta get that fixed, but that's, that's winter work. That's why I don't really use this tractor too much. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of work that needs to be done, but I'm just gonna fill it up now, and then we should be good to go for what I need it for. Yep. Ugh. 